Morocco is obsessed by football. From beaches to back streets, you'll be sure to find a game almost anywhere you look. And from this production line has emerged some of Africa's finest players. Players such as Aziz Boudabala. I was born and brought up within the old city of Casablanca, and that's where I learned my football. As you know, all the big names in the game, all the major players, learned to play football on the streets where they lived. Football would bring everyone together, especially in those days in Morocco from the times of colonial rule through to independence and beyond. Budabala's qualities were quickly recognized and he went on to have a distinguished club and international career. The pinnacle was the 1986 FIFA World Cup in Mexico, where he played a huge role in what was an historic achievement for African and Arab football. That Moroccan team was full of some of the continent's best players. The 1986 generation, which achieved so much, winning the Africa Cup of Nations, getting to the World Cup and topping our group against Poland, England and Portugal. It was the first African Arab national team to qualify from the group stages and get to the last 16 of a World Cup. We all know the Moroccan footballers are some of the best on the continent. Despite that, Morocco hasn't made the FIFA World Cup since 1998, and their fortunes in the Africa Cup of Nations have hardly been better. Boudabala has recently taken up the role of technical director at the Moroccan Football Federation, and he's hoping to pass his experience on to future generations. We know Morocco develops talented players. These days, in any country, when talent comes knocking at your door, you have to take full advantage. I've no doubt there are people working hard behind the scenes to haul Moroccan football back up to its rightful place within Africa. Why shouldn't we be leaders of the African continent? Morocco has an abundance of talent, and there's more talent today than at any point in the last 30 years. But though the kingdom's love for the game runs deep, many fans are more interested in European leagues rather than the domestic offering. This lack of attention to the local game has had a negative impact at all levels. However, Buda Bala is confident that the steps being taken by the Moroccan Federation will bear fruit in the near future. The Moroccan League is full of contrasts. Sometimes you watch a match that's being played at a very high standard, and the following week you watch the same team play again, and they look like they've never played football before. There are some things that just don't make sense. However, we're about to enter the third year of our professional league. And maybe in five to eight years, we can reach a good enough standard that the national league will be followed by viewers across a number of countries. Over the coming months, Morocco will host two of football's biggest tournaments almost back to back. It's a huge challenge for the country, both on and off the pitch but it'll also be an opportunity for the fans to fall in love once more with their national team. It could prove to be the springboard the Atlas Lions need to bounce back to where they believe they deserve to be. Everyone is striving to achieve the same thing from the changes at the Federation and the governing bodies to the plans in place for the coming period. All of this will help the Moroccan national team. What will truly open the door and give all Moroccans faith in the squad, though, is success in the Africa Cup of Nations.
المدعمين للمشاعر المتخبطة المغربية. It's something that would provide a massive boost to Moroccan football.